So my objective is to make new cultivars of currants and elderberries that are adapted to our Midwest region. I am looking for plants that are disease resistant and delicious and grow really well in this climate and are especially easy to harvest for the scale of growers in agroforestry systems that we are working with here at the Savannah Institute. So the major set of traits that we are trying to improve with American elderberry is its machine harvestability. Right now, American elderberry is primarily harvested by hand. So that's a lot of uh, manual labor that is really limiting its adoption at scale. Black currant is uh, pretty similar to American elderberry in terms of what makes it really well suited to agroforestry systems in the Midwest. It's extremely cold tolerant. Uh, it grows all the way into zone two. Challenge around developing varieties that can be machine harvested are, are pretty transferable um, in terms of what we're actually gonna be looking at on a plant by plant ba basis. So the most important part of plant breeding is breeding for the people who will be growing the plants. So I am trying to connect with the farmers that I can and as many people as I can to ask them what they need and tailor my breeding efforts to fit their needs. If farmers say, I love this variety, but it's just not good enough, I can't plant it because I can't harvest it, or I can't plant it because I don't have anyone to buy it because the flavors aren't there yet, I'm trying to find cultivars that will fit their needs. And solving that problem it requires some advancements in ag engineering, just building harvesters that can harvest American elderberry when grown as a hedgerow, but it also requires breeding varieties that can be machine harvested. And that involves uh, selecting for and paying attention to uh, a number of sort of interrelated traits. The first is uniform ripening. And that means uniform ripening across an entire bush. You want a, uh, ideally, you know, you want a flush of growth that all ripens at the same time so you're not making multiple passes with a harvester. And you also want the, uh, the, the, flower, the flower clusters to ripen uniformly across the cluster so that you know, there haven't been some berries that have already fallen off and some green berries in the cluster that you, know, you just can't get off the bush or you know, aren't ripe yet. And especially in an agroforestry system, these plants aren't necessarily adapted to these kinds of agroforestry systems. So we're growing them and breeding them so that they can be grown in the context of other tree species and in the context of what different agroforestry farms look like.